फास्टेस्ट क्रिकेट स्कोर अपडेट्स या सबसे डिटेल स्टैट्स क्रिकेट के अंदर बाहर की खबरें या हेल्दी डिबेट्स सबसे एक्यूरेट एनालिसिस या फैंस का क्रेज सबके लिए एक ही प्लेटफॉर्म क्योंकि क्रिकेट मतलब क्रिकेट नेक्स्ट Hello everyone you're watching Cricket Next I am Suramya Kashik it's going to be a big big clash tonight it's Royal Rajasthan Royals versus Kolkata Knight Riders it's the clash of the table toppers well RR versus KKR at Eden Gardens is always so special you know the last time these two teams came across each other we saw Yashasvi Jaiswal's 98 not out knock but Yashasvi Jaiswal this time around is not performing that well but what about the other batters and bowlers who will perform and this time around this game is the one where both the teams will be hoping to take that number one spot in the points table so let's hear it out from uh, keshav vastra network indian group sports editor sahil malhotra taus rizvi and jamie alder what do they think of this big big clash well to begin with you shrini haven't spoken to you uh, in so many days so we'll begin with you so many great clashes that we have seen this season you know the other night we saw how sunrisers hyderabad post the highest uh, total ever in ipl history they did so in match against mumbai indians now they crossed their own record yesterday against royal challengers bangalore but today it's the clash between the two table toppers kkr and rajasthan royals do you think that this match is going to be record breaking match and it's going to be a match where we will get to see what we saw from yashasvi jaiswal last time around or we'll get to see something very different in this match Okay, so hi everyone, and uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, before uh, we get to the game, uh, you know, you spoke about um, how exciting um, the IPL has been so far, and uh, truly so. And the numbers, the broadcast numbers, are 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 giving it uh, away. Uh, you know, kind of uh, they they are revealing uh, that the tournament so far has been quite a resounding success compared to any other edition. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. the, that. Uh, that uh, zing is finally uh, there and uh, it's it's uh, the matches obviously are making it all the more exciting you talked about sunrisers putting that total up and uh, performances like these i mean they've been like kind of uh, you know resounding high uh, 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 high value knocks and i think uh, that's what is adding all the excitement here so yeah coming to this game two of the finest teams in the tournament so far i don't remember the last time uh Rajasthan Royals um, kind of of course they've been very good the last two seasons uh you know they made it to the final also everything is fine but you know to start the tournament with a uh, bang like this and the fact that they are opening duo so so what worked for Rajasthan the last two seasons was yeah. with heavy scoring from Joss and Yashasvi right and uh, what you are witnessing different this time is uh, a larger impact from the rest of the team i think uh, that's that's what is working so beautifully for them um same with again with kolkata night riders you know they are not dependent on any one name in particular the older hands the old hands rill darin andre russell all of them coming to the party i mean these two teams are right now looking at the first two to make it to the who can go on to make it to the playoffs um, you know and rightly so the performance that we've seen so far there are yeah. worries that i see but not from a team perspective but from a player perspective i think we were just talking about the show before the show uh, yeah. you know i'll just quickly highlight it i'm sure as we go further into the discussion you know this can be touched upon once again so like look at kkr um, the team is doing excellently uh, they played one match i think lesser than rajasthan royals and otherwise yeah. the number of wins are both have lost one game each so this this match will more or less determine like you know if kkr can come on par with uh, rr who are topping the table but that's not the point the point is for me uh, the high impact player in the kkr lineup is rinku singh and um, you know the world cup squad is going to be named anytime soon and uh, from that perspective i'm just thinking like while kkr as a team are doing excellently have things been fair on rinku you know because um, Uh, that boy is like kind of not got many of op- m- m- a lot of opportunities above number 7 he's yeah. been restricted to number 7 at time 6 last game impact player did not get a chance at all 
uh, right? Yes. And now this yes. is happening while Shivam Dubey in Chennai Super Kings is again, you know, giving a tough competition to that same spot. So, so are things fair on Rinku, uh, considering where the World Cup is, uh, squad uh, is just around the corner? Name of the World Cup. So this is one, uh, and same as I pointed out in the conversation before, Jurel for Rajasthan Royals. You know, it's in the same yeah. Board. So I think, otherwise, from a squad perspective, these two are so far kind of pulling out all the right. They're doing really great. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, we'll talk about uh, Rinku Singh in much more detail as we proceed in this live. But uh, Sahil, we talk about Rajasthan Royals. You know, over the years, we have seen a pattern with RR. You know, they start off very well in the tournament and then there is a slump. This time around as well, if I look at the last two matches of Rajasthan Royals, one that they lost against uh, Gujarat Titans and they lost that match in the final over. And then there was this one match against, uh, you know, Punjab Kings that they won on the penultimate ball. And it was also a very tense um, match. And uh, so to say, Sanju Samson, the skipper, said that, you know, I really can't make out how, you know, we lost the match against Gujarat Titans because we were very well in the position to win the match. And then against Punjab Kings also, he said the same thing that, you know, I really can't figure out that how we played so averagely and how we played so below par that we had to take the match to the last over to win. And I'm afraid that with such kind of a pattern that Rajasthan Royals might not win this match against Kolkata Knight Riders because now the problems are coming up with RR. Sometimes they're batters, sometimes they're bowlers. What do you think is uh, hampering Rajasthan Royals to uh, put up convincing wins that they have done so far in the earlier part of this tournament? No, yes, the, the other teams are definitely catching up to their style of cricket, but I would still not consider this contest to be heavily in favour of KKR because RR, to be honest, have had a near-perfect campaign. If you just put that one mm -hmm. loss out of the picture, I think Sanju, Sanju Samson as captain has been terrific. He just, he did, he just did yeah. not bowl Trent Bolt in, in, in the death overs in that game and that probably led to his first defeat of the season. But apart from that, I think Sanju Samson has been one of the most impressive captains in the IPL so far. Mm -hmm. And largely the reason for RR sitting at top of the table has been Sanju's consistency with the bat. Because... Usi ka ek trend hai ki he starts well and then he just fades away. That's how his IPL has been in the last 10 years. But this year he has already scored 350s in 6 innings, has looked good and they found some sort of stability in the middle order which was largely missing in the previous editions. It was always Butler, Jaiswal, Samson and the rest. But now the rest are stepping up. The rest, I mean Riyan Parag, Shimran Hetmar had a contribution in the last game. Ashwin has done the job here and there with the bat when he was promoted up the order. And the bowling group is coming good. It's no longer or, you know, it's just not Trent Bolt and the two spinners. Kuldeep, Kuldeep Sen and Avesh Khan have been doing the job with, with, the, with yeah. the oldest ball. Trent Bolt in the power playovers, then Yuzhendra Chahal towards the fag end of the innings. And now with the introduction of Keshav Maharaj, they have just added another dimension to their bowling attack. And they are they are a bloody good bowling side. Trent Bolt, Avesh Khan, Kuldeep Sen, you have pace, you have swing, you have control, you have variety and three completely different spinners. So I don't think yeah. any franchise is as blessed as RR when it comes to bowling variety. Even KKR. KKR, if you compare with RR, are a much weaker bowling side. It, 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 mm. it, it, it's, a, it's a fact. If you just look at KKR, you know, Sunil Narayan and Varun Chakravarti are cut from the same cloth. Uh, Harshit Rana and uh, Weber uh, Varoda, you would say, are similar uh, bowlers, yeah. Indian gold bowlers. And, the, and Stark is probably the only X factor with them. So, RR, I think, have a very complete attack and complete bowling attack and are well rounded when it comes to their 11. And if they continue to you know, just peak at the right time and just continue the consistency, don't be surprised yes. seeing them play the final at Chepok. I'm yes. very early, but they have the side, they have the captain to do what it is required to play another final. Well, yeah, uh, I think I completely agree with you in terms of Rajasthan Royals having almost near to perfect uh, bowling um, lineup, so to say, because they have everyone out there. They have Ashwin, they have Chahal, they have Ben Bolt. And thus, we have spoken about RR's bowling quite a lot many times. And, you know, when we have compared also the bowling lineups of different teams, we have come to only one conclusion that Rajasthan Royals, they have their bowling as the strongest, strongest, uh, you know, 
phase or like you know the biggest strength of rr is their bowling but let's also talk about uh, their uh, batting okay um ravi shankar is saying that rajasthan are at number one position because of riyan parag performance well rightly so because in a couple of matches riyan parag really led rr to a uh, victory line and sanju samson definitely the way he has played but um taus if we have to look at you know the loopholes what loopholes do you see in this team and uh, if i look back at the at that one loss that the rajasthan royals faced again they were in a position where they could have won that match easily but things didn't work out for them in the last one also i think shimran hetmeyer took that match so deep so deep that there was this one point it felt that rr might lose it out so i think they really need to speed up the game or what do they need to do yeah i mean there are there are no uh, not i mean serious loopholes there are no gaps just that dhruv jirel is not getting that chance to you know express himself like how sanju samson the captain was using it to its uh, you know fullest advantage that uh, you know uh, bat at number 3 and you know stake a claim for the world cup squad another thing uh, yeah yeah uh, see they have the batters to finish the game shimron hetmeyer you saw you saw i mean dhruv jirel can do it but he's not got in in a opportunity it, it hasn't gone down deep as much because uh, there are people who have done enough like butler may not have done in the previous game or maybe before that but then he has done it in uh, in between sanju champion has been consistent uh, then you have uh, riyan parag he's showing his colors finally after a long time having given those opportunities now he's shown uh, like what kind of uh, uh, talent he is what he can do for his team how how uh, you know uh, uh, talented or maybe the kind of shots that he has now it's coming good good that they persisted with him and good he, he was fortunate enough because if there would have been another player he would have been out by now uh, chance hi nahi milta prove karne ko usko bhi do teen seasons ke baad but he was lucky finally he's coming good so i don't see much loopholes because i mean if you look at team uh, uh, even after dhruv jirel i mean i was just counting the uh, battles that they have all round yeah. they have if they don't play uh, maybe a kesham maharaj He, uh, they have Roman Powell. He can bat. He can bowl. He can take uh, you know take the match away from the uh, jaws of defeat. He's got the power. He's the typical West Indian guy. I mean, like uh, yeah. uh, Romario Shefford, like uh, many other West Indian cricketers, the all-rounders who can you know uh, make an impact. Shimron Hetmeyer. So they have a very very well balanced lineup. Which uh, we have been talking about, which even Sahil said. the best part i mean about the, the rajasthan royals the reason that they are on top because of their balance i mean we keep talking about the balance what the balance it is we got they have good openers i mean yashasvi is not doing theek hai he's he's going to get back into form but they have they still have faith in him he can do it george butler look at the middle order in sanju samson reliable uh you can trust them they can save the ship if there is some issues they can go after the attack riyan parag you know what he can do we know what shimron hetmeyer can do uh we know this guy uh, roman paul if he gets an opportunity but then look at the spinners look at the fast bowlers so it's a good good combination good formidable side any team that would love to have and like how mumbai indians used to have in their time when they had won five titles uh remember mm. from the top order to the 11th yeah. batsman uh, 11th player everybody yeah. had some kind of a role here exactly rajasthan royals have each uh, role for its players but dhruv jirel ka abhi bhi confusion hai mujhe pata nahi wo kaise solve hoga hmm वेल आई थिंक जब से आई पी एल शुरू हुआ है ताउस तब से हमने इस पर बहुत बात करी है एंड ध्रुव जुरेल एक कॉन्स्टेंट टॉपिक रहा है बात करने का हमारे कि क्या होगा और किस तरीके से वो बैटिंग कर रहे हैं क्या वो इम्पैक्ट करेगा उनके सिलेक्शन पर टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप में या नहीं वेल वील टॉक अबाउट दैट ऑल्सो इन डिटेल बट जेमी वी टॉक अबाउट कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स यू नो द लास्ट मैच अगेंस्ट लखनऊ सुपर जॉय आई रिमेंबर आई वॉज टॉकिंग विद यू एंड यू मैंशन यू नो दैट यू वर वेटिंग फॉर दैट 
great performance from Phil Salt. And you said that the experimentation with Sunil Narain had to end one day and had to come to a full stop one day or the other. And you were expecting Phil Salt to come up and score runs. That happened in the last match. But if we go to the match that KKR lost, that was against Chennai Super Kings, there were a lot of discussions around, you know, how um, KKR is a very good team in terms of team. They are a very good team when it comes to, you know, Eden Gardens. But when it comes to other grounds, like, you know, the way they played Chepa, people started questioning the fire power in KKR. And they started questioning, you know, whether these power hitters are even reliable in each and every match or not. And that brings us to the last match as well. Because in the last match, if you see, there was just Phil Salt and Shreyas Ayer. The other two, Sunil Narayan didn't perform well and Ankrish Raghavanshi was also there. So, you know, there were some issues there. So I want to know from you, do you also think that Kolkata Knight Riders have performed really well so far because of their power hitters performing really well? But it's just a one-off thing. If you match, you can rely on each match, but you can't rely on each match. Like, just like Sunil Narayan, you have Russell, you have Rinku Singh, you don't have any chances because they're impact players. In the last match, they didn't play. Before that, they had so many balls. I think 14 balls. पे नौ रन बनाए थे उन्होंने तो व्हाट डू यू थिंक कि ये जो पार हिटर्स हैं इनके टीम में वो हर मैच में स्पेशली आज के मैच में वो चल पाएंगे क्या वो एक कंसिस्टेंसी दिखेगी इस टीम में आगे आने वाले टाइम्स में आने I think you've already answered the question. Power hitters are the most inconsistent because they have one job, that's to hit. I, I, I don't think KKR are a team of power hitters. Um, I'm actually mm -hmm. amazed that they're even with the squad they have. Like Sahil mentioned, I'm even shocked they're in the top four because when I look at that top four, I just see too many problems. Uh, what has worked for them is that a few people on the right day have done some good things. Uh, mm -hmm. Sunil Narayan, Again, I remain somewhat skeptical of, of the prospect of him working. Maybe, and I don't think he's going to move anywhere. He's not a power hater. He's, he's just a, he's a risky prospect. When it works like basketball, it looks brilliant. When it doesn't work, all of us say, kya chal rahe. so that is Sunil Narayan opening is definitely Gautam Gambhir's brainchild. But it's the closest we have to baseball in a white ball format. It's not going to work very well. And it is it is what it okay. is. Phil Salt, I'll say it again. DC were morons who let Phil Salt go. Phil Salt will probably end up as KKR leading run getter this season. Raghavanshi is in his first IPL. He's four innings old. He's going to do yeah. well. He's going to fail. Um, Vigresh Ayer is not a power hitter. He's just an old-fashioned slogger. He's like Robin Singh with a bit yeah. more power. He has two shots. Are you expecting him to be a power hitter? I'm not. The only power hitter in KKR is Andre Russell. And like we discussed yeah. the last time, the more wickets fall, the, fur the further they push Andre Russell down. If you have mm. Russell, if you have Tim David, if you have Nicholas Purin, why in God's good name are you keeping these guys down? Push your strongest hitters. Did SR8 say, you know what, Heinrich Klassen is our power hitter? Let's keep him. No. Two times they got 100 in power play. They sent the guy to, to bat at number three. This is why SRH yeah. will probably end up like RR in the final. It's going to be RR CSK as far as I see it, right? KKR yeah. will, will fall apart. They're a good team. Don't get me wrong. But who's performing? It's yaha maha, yaha maha. I'm actually amazed that this team is in the top four. I don't see them despite this great start. I don't see them staying because they only have one power hitter, and that is Andre Russell. Mm -hmm. Bill Saul is not a power hitter. He just he grew up in the West Indies. He knows how to play a certain kind of ball. He's very good on yeah. the front foot. He's good against spin. But look, look at his innings of 89. Probably 25 runs came through a French cut. So Sunil Narayan is not a power hitter. He just swings. Shreyas Ayer, I mean, uh, his batting is on bordering on being a liability to that team. So hats off to them for staying relevant. But uh, I don't think they're going to make the top four or stay in the top four, actually. Sunil Arain is gifted a good timer of the ball, sweet timer of the ball. Power like, like, exactly, he's not a power hitter. And he's bowling, he's not yeah. doing a thing. He's he's not giving runs, but he's not taking wickets. How mm. long How long will this team stay in the top four? Mushkil, yeah? Mm. Mm.
I, I think Jamie, you have pointed out the exact problems in Kolkata Knight Riders, and perhaps they have won all these matches because on a given day, a couple of batters performed really well, and that's where uh, the whole issue lies. You know, you don't know how long will this go on in this tournament, and that's where you know we talk how a balanced team is very very important in a tournament like IPL, and that was the exact point that Taus was talking about that how he sees Rajasthan Royals as a completely balanced team. So even if on a given day, Sanju Samson doesn't perform or Riyan Parag doesn't perform, perhaps Shimran Hetmeyer will, perhaps somebody else will, Joss Butler will. And we have seen that. We saw how Joss Butler made that 100 when it was needed for the team. So those all things do matter. But let's go back to one of our discussions that we began with Srini, where Srini highlighted this Rinku Singh's topic. And I think we'll continue in the extension to what Jamie said. Srini, uh, Jamie highlighted all the issues in Kolkata Knight Rider's side. And he just mentioned, you know, there are no power hitters. And I still remember in no, there's uh, the one. Previous... There's only one. There is one. Yeah. There is one. There's only Nobody one. Nobody else qualifies yeah. as a power hitter. Yeah. But, you know, uh, Jamie and Srini both, um, you know, in the last few seasons where we used to see Rinku Singh, you know, Lok but is season for the Kniko name Milahe or is the Nidik Nikomalai Kuki Kaibar chances name Milreha and Shini Bakarathi impact player key last match man on a Kela Ne Usse last two match Saju Kaki or Hari Usme fourteen ball nine Banathe on Hane. Now Shini, what Kolkata Knight Riders can do in such a case? Wo Rinku Singh Pele bhi niche yada the batting karne and he used to go out and you know smash those sixes and all of that and used to win matches for KKR. But what different they can do this time around because this time they are using him as an impact player. Okay, see, uh, first of all, uh, you know, uh, Jamie talked about impact players. Uh, sorry, those uh, uh, you know kind of hard hitters and and in that um, you know Andre Russell. But I've always said this, that uh, any cricketer in form is, uh, you know, uh, is, is, you know, form is as good as class in this format, right? So, uh, so if you're looking at the to uh, entire KKR batting lineup, uh, is there anybody who's not carrying a strike rate of 150 right now? The only one, I think. I think that answers mm. the question. Uh, the captain. Mm. Right? Yeah. So the rest all are actually striking the ball at 150, around 150, uh, uh, I think, if not 150 plus. So that is a quick giveaway to what is working so well for KKR. And in what Jamie points out, where the worries could stem, probably it stems in that one big name in the middle order, which does not match up to that 150 wala bracket. And what it does further is that where their pinch hitters are concerned, one MVP is literally losing out on opportunities. I'm talking about Rinku. Hmm. They have not been able to, I think, you know, uh, how do I say this? Accommodate him the way they ideally should have for what he brings to the table. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, like for example, last game he was an impact player. He wasn't even there. I mean, he didn't even get an opportunity. And I think um, you know KKR have mostly blown hot in the tournament. You know, in terms of the runs that they put on board, their Rinku is not got a chance. Then again, you come to a game like CSK where they put 135, 140 odd on board, and again Rinku misses out on that chance. Yeah. He's really not got an opportunity now. Where I feel bad for that boy. Is that the World Cup selection is around the corner? While KKR, you know, KKR can devise 100 different ways, whatever they think is working for them. As long as they are winning and they are, you know, in the top two or three where the points table is concerned. And they are there. There is nothing to take away from them. Whether Sunil Narin is, uh, you know, kind of found their confidence thanks to Gautam Gambhir coming back. Or whether Andre Russell is now on that one big touch, maybe because he thought the law, you know, for long he had not been doing his part. Whatever is working for them, I don't know. But KKR are there. What about Rinku? Yeah. 
because when i am looking at the india order lineup to me that number 6 slot still looks vacant and uh, with an appetite for a cricketer like rinku now what is happening here and what is making me think uh, a little differently is let is rinku losing that spot to let's say someone like shivam dubey primarily for the fact that kkr may not be utilizing him the way he can potentially be utilized by team india's concern you know is he getting enough opportunities to showcase his talent just at a time when the world cup selection is around the corner that's the worry as far as the kkr batting itself is concerned see i've said this like you know whatever works the format is such that whatever works and if it's andre russell and nareen getting the job done um, then so be it uh, but you know from a team perspective it is helping them so why not i mean yeah. i'm not really going to yeah. uh, uh, go dissecting any further uh, than what it is but i feel bad for but, rinku no but yeah. my question is what is what is kkr done differently with rinku he's batting in the same position they haven't changed his batting yeah. He's batted four times out of five. He's won you two matches. What is KKR doing wrong with Rinku? I fail to see what's happening. Nothing. They, 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 they are not doing anything. He's not wrong. doing the job. He's not doing the job. No, so he's to blame. How is KKR to blame? I'm no, confused. But, no, no, but see, he's I'm batting gonna... in the same place. He's batting at six in all the matches. They're no, not so giving I'm him saying, higher now. So I'm saying that if the full strength squad is playing, he's at number seven, right? Almost at number seven. No, he's batting at six. Six and seven. He's also batted at seven. Uh, in one match, but they haven't mm-hmm. changed him. So, so he's coming out to bat in the same role. In one he got forty-four of twenty-two. In one he got thirty-six of twenty-two. So he's doing the he's doing the in job, now. Yeah, but in that there's been one batsman who's been huh. scoring at almost one fifteen, one twenty, the strike rate. Huh. If you were to push Rinku up, huh. it would give him that bit of a confidence. To put but that's in... not his role for the World Cup. No, World Cup slot is only six, seven. Why would he yeah. batter four? Fair enough. But it's just that what is happening is because the top order is in such good form, uh, uh. his 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 opportunity is getting limited. Now it can be working. Uh, like that, yeah. What I'm trying to say is it is working beautifully for KKR. I'm not uh. looking at things from a KKR perspective. I, I'm just drawing a, a parallel from here. to kind of see how it is going to pan out from a team india perspective team india ha uh-huh. uh-huh. okay yeah okay i'm i'm just looking at that comparison and that's where i just i'm just feeling you know that maybe that guy is getting lost in that whole uh, rigmarole i don't know how this can be rectified but i'm just saying, you know i'm just the way i'm looking at it you know it's it's, it's a, i i see it as a bit of Um, you know, it's unfortunate for Rinku. I, I hopefully things should have been different. Confidence that you carry from a World Cup standpoint, especially in a format like this, is everything. Confidence, you know, the kind of uh, positivity you carry into a tournament like the World Cup is everything, in my opinion. So when you don't get enough opportunities and those, you know, and those far and few that you have that come your way. you fail to make the most of it or you know kind of see rinku last year what he did for kkr see how it catapulted him in terms of the mindset in terms of you know he suddenly overnight became a cricketer of not just um, a good reputation in a mad format like this but also how it worked for him from a mental aspect you know when he began to believe that he belongs and that's everything uh, hmm. and that Only can only come when your performances keep coming, and that I thought is not coming this way. Hmm. That that's one case, uh, you know, about uh, Rinku Singh, and um, I agree with Shreeni just because Kolkata Knight Riders are top orders performing really well. Uh, we aren't seeing Rinku Singh so often because last year we saw him in a lot of matches, and he was the match winner. Well, uh, we'll also talk a bit about Ruf Jarel because before the start of this IPL, he was in our list where we were saying that you know this IPL is very very crucial for all of us to see the wicket keeper batters. 
Gonzalez. And uh, there were a lot of names over there. Jitesh Sharma was one, Rishabh Pant was one, Dhruv Chirrel was one. Now, the whole discussion is happening around Rishabh Pant because of the way he's performing. And uh, obviously, the one entry that nobody expected that's Dinesh Karthik that people are talking on social media. That, that's all for our laughter and, you know, entertainment. But, but yes, we will talk about it. But Dhruv Jurel is a very, very important uh, discussion. But before that, let me tell you all that for today's match, Rajasthan Royals have won the toss and they have opted opted to bowl first. That was, how do you see this decision? Also, very, very good point for Rajasthan Royals that both Ashwin and Joss are available for this match. Good, yeah, good opportunity for them to score big runs. Yeah. Uh, nahi, uh, sorry, Rajasthan Royals, yeah, I like too bad. A uh, bowl first, so uh, yeah, they know the conditions, they know exactly uh, what good that Ashwin is back. They are their bowling is going to get only stronger. I mean, because uh, playing at home again, uh, you know, uh, what exactly uh, who play who played the last game, uh, and won the toss, and they elected to field first while playing at home. So the team that knows the conditions chooses to what uh, when they are playing at home they know exactly what to do how to go about it so exactly RCB you mean just look at that fun <laughs> RCB did just that yesterday they RCB. knew the conditions they knew the bowling they knew the pitch and they said the best batting order in the world is our batting guru <laughs> but that was RCB RCB are bowlers in here. <laughs> so you just said the teams that know what to do at home do that. So I thought Archie never did that. Whatever they know. <laughs> hey, uh, well, that was a fun decision from Faf. But yeah, today. George Butler uh, is not there. He was seen. He was seen uh, batting. Somebody was talking about it. In he's fact, playing. He's uh, playing. Of... He's playing. He's playing. He'll be he's there. Playing, he's, he's playing. He's confirmed. Yeah. His name is not there. Yeah, yeah that's he's Sanjuri. coming. He's yeah, sure, he'll come as an impact player, I think so, because his yeah, he's been named he, as the impact stuff, as an impact player. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he'll news. come. Great news. Because they're bowling mean, first, na. That was his bowling, na. Yeah. And he wasn't well in the last match. And Correct. he was seen taped. The one thing that Sahil was, uh, you know, telling us earlier that, uh, you know, his um, hamstring and uh, his calf muscles were fully taped and all. So, that's why he'll come to just bat. But I think the great news for them is to have Ashwin back in the team. That's one very good news for them. The impact player is such a good thing. Yeah, the the reason that we are seeing 200 plus runs in almost uh, next game, almost other on other game, you have a deep batting lineup. I mean, look at that. Roman Paul is also there. He can hit big. Uh, Shimron yeah. Atmai. I mean, you can see the the reason. I mean, I was I was at at the nets today talking with the cricketers, talking people who have played for Mumbai playing. So uh, they were talking like how impact player has made a role and the reason behind those these big scores is because of the impact player, because of the wickets. Of course, uh, they are good, but the impact player because the the, the batting goes deep. You have an opportunity to swing the ball, uh, swing the bat. And then go for maximum runs. That's where impact player plays a role. So, uh, yeah, Ro Roman Paul gets an opportunity. George Butler will be there. He's he's not just a, a timer, but he's also a good good hitter. He can clear the fences easily at will. If he stays there, then all of every match, if he plays 20 overs, he can got, get a run, get 100 with a good strike rate. That kind of talent he needs. I mean, what else for Ashwin? I mean, good news. Ashwin is back. Yuzvendra Chahal, again, these two guys will... And then pair, Trent Bowl, Avesh Khan, Kuldeep Sen. Andre Burger, Burger, Burger is not there. I'm surprised. Is he is he not injured? No, they no, dropped no. him last match also. They, they dropped, dropped uh, yeah. him last game also. Yeah. They have yeah. Kuldeep Sen now, na? So they are using that spot for a middle order Hetmeyer Powell kind of combination. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. So only four, so, four because... foreigners, yeah. This is fine. I mean, yeah. this is still a good uh, Kuldeep Sen giving an opportunity for to uh, an Indian youngster and he bowls pace, yeah, good pace. So, yeah, great team to you know have a contest with K KKR. And I'm all for Rajasthan Royals today, right now. <laughs> well, yes, I also think that Sahil is all for Rajasthan Royals. He's already wearing pink, but uh, talking about Rajasthan Royals, okay, Taos is also, you know, showing his t shirt. Okay, Taos, yes, got it. You're also wearing pink, so I'll count you in a Rajasthan Royals side. But Sahil, um, as I touched upon that topic of Dhruv Jarel, you know, so the start of the IPL before the tournament started, we were just talking about him, you know, how uh, all eyes would be on him given 
we all knew that Sanju Samson will be keeping the wickets. Then also we were talking about, you know, how crucial it will be for Jurel to score runs. But in six matches so far, in four innings that he has played, he's made only 48 runs in this tournament, uh, an average of 16. And uh, that's a very concerning news because on the other side, if you look at other wicketkeeper batters, they're performing well in terms of Rishabh Pant. And then I also touched upon the topic of DK. What do you think? What's going to happen to Jarel? Because he looked as a strong contender for that position for the T20 World Cup. But what now? You know, um, there's been so much noise around Dinesh Karthik. And if that thing actually happens, you know, we must take a stand and boycott this World Cup for good. Because you just can't keep doing the same things over and over again for after seeing what's happening when you're playing cricket on a highway. You are playing cricket on a highway, you are playing cricket on a highway, you are playing DK on a recall, you are playing something else. What is cricket? Mean, cricket mean, we will make a joke of Indian cricket if we end up doing that. We, not that we already haven't. We already have. By having a captain who, who first played the format in 2007, we are not going anywhere. I am telling you, this is the way we are going to assemble the squad. You are talking about Rishabh Pant. Just imagine the top five. If Rishabh Pant will come in at five, you'll have five batters who take at least 10 deliveries to get their engine warmed up. Except mm -hmm. Suri Kumar Yadav, there is no batter in the top five, which I potentially see right now. Shuman slash Yashasvi, Rohit, Virat, Surya, uh, Rishabh, Hardik. In six, you can tell me two batters who keep the ball from the first ball. No one is. This is going to be a disaster. World Cup ke andar. and Dhruv Jurel or Samson ka jo hum baat kar rahe hai, I think more than what's happening with Jurel, I think Samson ne apni chances bohut effect kar di hai by playing at the number which he has been for Rajasthan Royals in the last 3-4 years now. Sanju Samson yeah. coming in at 3, I don't know what, what door is trying to push open because Indian team mein to jaga nahi hai na, as far as we see, 4 tak to jaga nahi hai aapke paas nahi hai. Aap bohut special yeah. karke kuch paanch pe aajau but Batting at 3 and batting at 5 are completely different ball games altogether. More than Jurel, I think Samson should have batted at 4 or 5 probably and given himself that middle order crack. Because now he's too much into that top order mold. Because Yashasvi hasn't really fired in the tournament and they haven't had big daddy opening stands. So Samson more often than not has been batting in the power play. Where run scoring is comparatively easier than how it is in the middle overs when the fielding restrictions are away, there are a lot of boundary riders. So, in this situation, mm -hmm. Samson is not going to be able to do it. He is not going to be able to do it. But Sanju Samson is not going to be able to do it. So, now, what do you think? Well, let's not talk about Sanju Samson's At fan least. army because that fan army is like, oh my god. At least, he is, at least, Sanju Samson is not the only wicket keeper, batsman, captain. Um, uh, you know, uh, at least you can't blame Sanju for being the wicket keeper, batsman, captain to make this work in his favor. There is somebody who has an equal opportunity, but it's not happening for him. Well, yeah. At LSB. Okay, well, yeah. Well, well, let's not go there because I think then we'll, you know, digress from I'm today's just, match. I, and I, I, start. I, 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 <laughs> just mold, just batting ho ball ka color change karna padega abhi. White wall batting का बात ही नहीं कर सकते। एकदम मिला मिला के एकदम You can see photographers batting हो रहा है। You can see that you know uh, while the tournament is on, you can see that there are World Cup slots to be waiting to be filled, and there is an effort being made to kind of you know why for it, which is which I think is a healthy thing, nothing wrong. Unfortunately, yeah. you know some people when they don't get a similar opportunity as others do, then you feel bad. For them. That's all. Mm, that's right. That's right. But yes, um, if we, I, I think what Jamie highlighted, Jamie said, you know, that we really need to look at the players also, how they are performing. And uh, he mentioned, you know, Rinku Singh not performing in the matches where he has got an opportunity to is completely his uh thing to take care of or his thing to be really you know taken care of he really needs to work on that similarly is with Dhruv Jurel. Dhruv Jurel has got four matches and he has managed only 48 runs so all these batters or bowlers for that matter they really need to think from the perspective of T20 World Cup coming as well but for now let's just uh, keep our focus into Rajasthan Royals versus KKR match tonight uh, Jamie uh, starting out with you what do you think um, it's, it's quick prediction time so are you also on our side today? Look, uh, 
Yes, Ashish Jaiswal has not done a thing in six matches. Josh Butler has clicked in one out of six. Ashwin is not doing a thing. Um, clear problems. Sandeep Sharma can get a game, and still this team is number one. It's number one for a reason. So I have every reason to believe that despite nowhere near, this team is nowhere near full potential. Full potential is when Jaiswal starts to score. When Butler starts sure. to score, when that pair starts to do things, Abhi jo Travis Head or Yavishek Shishama kar rahe hain, ye dono kar chuke hain. This team is nowhere. They're not even 50% at their max, at their optimum level, and they're topping this league and everything that everyone else on this panel said. So I have no reason to believe that KKR are are really going to push a push uh, RR. RR is nowhere near top gear. When they hit top gear, ye sab ko todenge. Or already tod rahe hain sab ko. Mota mota. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Shrini, uh, I started this live session uh, with a thing where I, you know, mentioned about the last time these two teams met at Aden Gardens and we saw Jaiswal's 98 not out knock. Um, Jamie uh, touched upon that Jaiswal's point and he said that, you know, Jaiswal's not firing it up. Do you think it's going to happen in today's match? Apart from the match prediction, I want to know from you, do you think Jaiswal's going to make runs tonight? Do you think he's going to make runs? I'm not sure. But should he? This is the time. Uh, yeah. You know, because we, we we see him as the certainty to travel with India for the World Cup. And the sooner he gets back among runs, the sooner he strikes form, the sooner he regains his confidence, the better it is for the Indian team. As much as it is good for RR. And uh, so from that perspective, uh, you know, as, as Jamie said, he's, like, he's right. See, the, the, the moment Jaiswal comes back to runs, this team will look like right now it's top of the table, right? But it doesn't give oh, you the confidence yeah. that it is that well-rounded side. The day Jaiswal or Joss or both, in no particular order, hit form, strike form, this very team, uh, you know, it will look uh, completely different. I mean, we've talked enough about the RR attack. Uh, they have the finest attack in the, the, in the, the, the uh, IPL. They have, from a bowler perspective, they have the best impact player. Uh, you know, the guy who tops the bowling charts in terms of wickets. Yes, uh, You know, uh, such a well-rounded squad. So that if if that gets uh, gets going, the 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 Jaiswal Butler combination, which has worked so brilliantly for them for the last two years, that gets going. I mean, why today evening's game? I, you know. Tournament-wise, I would then reckon them to be absolute favourites, uh, you know. Until that happens, tonight's game, for instance, to me, KKR remain the favourite. As long as those openers don't continue to deliver uh, or do not begin mm. to deliver more consistently. Uh, if yeah. that happens, it's RR. Otherwise, for tonight, KKR playing at home, I on confidence. Why not? Today is about them. My, I have a question for Srini I have a question for Srini uh, and Sahil or Jamie Bhai or anybody. Uh, what if Jaiswal doesn't perform in this IPL? Will he go to the World Cup? Yeah, he go. In this form. He go. I see, will he go to the? See, your question is will because he go there to are the World Cup? Uh, Virat for the top order. Virat Kohli, oh, Rohit Sharma, uh, Shubman Gill, Taus, uh, Taus. Will he go to the World Cup boulder or will he play in the 11 boulder? That's the question. Exactly. That's the question. He'll go, but he won't play. That's the question. I guess, Haru. 100% Bilkul. Jack. Bilkul. But as you yourself mentioned, Taos Bhai, he's gone from a certainty to a contender. That is the mm -hmm. truth. He's now a contender. He's not a certainty anymore. But exactly like Shini, yeah. I'm on the same page. Wo jayega, but the runs that Ishan Kishan and Shubman Gill are scoring, Makes it very, yeah. very tough for Jaiswal to stay as your as your second opener. He let him score some runs. Now that he's scoring, I guess Rahul will have to. You want to say anything? I don't know what you're saying. 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 So, क्या वो डिसीजन इफेक्ट होगा टी20 वर्ल्ड कप का तो वो मेरे को एपिसोड एकदम से याद आ गया और फिर को बोला गया था अरे भाई शुभ शुभ बोलो ना यार अभी शुरू होने तो आईपीएल तो वो एकदम लाइक फ्लैशबैक बट नो आई कंप्लीटली एग्री रिसेंसी बायस इज कंप्लीटली इन फेवर ऑफ शुभमन गिल राइट नाउ एंड द स्केल इज टिल्टेड टुवर्ड्स हिम 
प्राइमर नॉट दैट आई एम इन फेवर ऑफ शुमन गिल एंड रोहित एट टॉप ऑफ दी ऑर्डर बिकॉज एक्स फैक्टर अगर कोई लेके आएगा वो यशस्वी ही आएगा ताबड़ तोड़ बैटिंग चाहिए तो ईशान यशस्वी जैसे ही चाहिए जो बॉल वन से विल टेक द अटैक टू दी ऑर्डर अगर ताउस में कोई ये पूछते कि एक एग्जांपल की दौर पे बोल रहा हूं मैं जस्ट एज एन एग्जांपल क्या ऋतुराज गायकवाड वर्ल्ड कप जाएंगे तो मैं अभी बोलता हूं नहीं जाएंगे या नहीं जाएंगे यशस्वी जाएंगे हां जाएंगे दैट दैट इफ दैट काइंड ऑफ आंसर्स एनी ईशान किशन क्यों नहीं जाएंगे यार ईशान किशन क्यों नहीं जाएंगे यार द वे ही इज बैटिंग मैं रुतुराज की बात कर रहा था रुतुराज नहीं जाएगा ईशान जाएगा जाएगा ये है कि ईशान के साथ कौन जाएगा संजू जाएगा ऋषभ जाएगा या कप्तान एल एस जी का जाएगा अरे वो टीम में कितने विकेट कीपर है मेरे को एल एस जी के मैच में बुलाना आप लोग प्लीज एज गेस्ट उसमें कितने विकेट कीपर है क्विंटन डी को लॉन्गर ही फेल एंड आई एम ऑन द सेम शुभमन गिल बट ईशान किशन फॉर्म ओपनिंग रोल राइट अगर जयसवाल रन मारते ईशान किशन डिस्कशन में नहीं आते बिकॉज लाइक साहिल अंटिल फाइव डेज को आई वॉज सेइंग द सेम थिंग टॉप फोर में जगह नहीं है अब जगह बन रही है क्योंकि ईशान का फॉर्म इज इज एग्जैक्टली बिकॉज जैसवाल इज नॉट डूइंग इट बिकॉज शुभमन गिल इज इज अ सस्पेक्ट ऑन दोस कैरेबियन पिचेस वेयर इज ईशान किशन रीलड ऑफ 3 विकेट्स इन अ रो एंड नाउ ही स्कोरिंग रन्स राइट सो बाय डिफॉल्ट ही सडनली केम इनटू द इनटू द डिस्कशंस लिटरली फाइव डेज अगो I'm on. I'm with your side. He shouldn't go, but he will go because he's doing two things. Only from he's scoring opener. runs as an opener, and he's a second keeper. I don't know how. I don't know how this panel even considers Drew Jared an option. He's not a keeper. Why would he go to the World Cup? Bizarre. I, I didn't say anything then. Bizarre that his name is being taken. You, if you want to go to the World Cup and keep wickets, you have to be keeping wickets. He's not keeping wickets. Why would he go? Your keepers no. are now between Samson. Rishabh Pant and Ishan Kishan. But third option is not. Jitesh is long gone because he's not scoring runs. Why would Drew Jarrell go to the World Cup? Even World openers, World? even openers, Rohit, Jaiswal, Ishan, and um, uh, Shubman. 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 Yeah. Or who comes to mind? नहींबरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडरूटेडर
या सबसे डिटेल स्टैट्स क्रिकेट के अंदर बाहर की खबरें या हेल्दी डिबेट्स सबसे एक्यूरेट एनालिसिस या फैंस का क्रेज सबके लिए एक ही प्लेटफॉर्म क्योंकि क्रिकेट मतलब क्रिकेट नेक्स्ट